Firstly, I would like to thank the traditional owners of the land we stand on, the Noongar people, and I'd like to acknowledge the elders, past and present. I'm going now to do a reading from the Chronicles of the Guardians. Emma raised her hands once more. She waited, and then there was silence. Before she closed her eyes, one by one her thoughts became pictures. Floating around the table for everyone to see, images of earth children sick and dying, entire countries full of death. When she looked around the table, the faces had changed. Sadness had lingered. And yet there was an awareness in the council members' eyes. It is simple, she said. It's easy to fix. Let's vote. I would like to dedicate this address to Ignat Zimovitz, the father of hand hygiene, a man who died for his belief in the connection between hand hygiene and mothers dying in hospital from giving childbirth. The message has not changed since 1847. A study by Professor Chris Del Mar and others at the request of the federal government following the H1N1 <laughs> scare, the conclusion was, based on the findings of this review, we recommend that hand washing programs should be implemented nationwide, their effectiveness monitored and evaluated. Most efforts should be concentrated on reducing the transmission from young children through regular education and hygiene at school. And yet today, 5,000 children will die from communicable diseases that could have been avoided through washing hands. 80% of all communicable disease is transferred through our hands. The facts are, if children wash their hands four times a day at school, you will reduce gastro by 50% and the cold and flu by 24%. And yet in our Aboriginal communities, we still have the highest trachoma rate of any advanced country in the world. This is not rocket science. It's clear that we do need a new approach. An online children's club called the Grime Stoppers. Engaging children through a weekly story of the battle between the scientists and the superbugs. The gathering of earthling children by the celestial guardians from the Intergalactic Health Council to fight the superbugs. This program is loosely uh, on the basis of uh, a program called Applied Behavioural Analysis, the same method used in, for 50 years in the US to bring children out of autism. This is how we brought my son within the spectrum of severe autism to a cool looking dude playing the guitar in a band. How does this work? We have found a way to reflect a child's physical, physical hygiene behaviour in the demeanour of their online avatar. A favourite singer or sporting hero. They get points for every time they wash their hands. Let me give you an example. Let's say Jessica Malboy agrees to be an avatar or an online mentor to the children. Jessica is chosen by a young Indigenous girl and in community. Her facial expressions, Jessica's facial expressions will change depending on the amount of, of, of uh, hygiene protocols of the child. If Talia's hygiene behaviour drops below the required amount, Jessica starts to look sad. <laughs> then green. She's still not washing her hands and it's Wednesday. Hasn't washed her hands since Wednesday, Monday. Now Jessica's sick. Then, they, then Jessica disappears. <laughs> Jessica's gone to hospital. To get Jessica back, resume your hygiene protocols. <laughs> An online avatar influencing a child's behaviours. These were using extrinsic and intrinsic rewards with the child's engagement with the avatar as well. So it gets back to applied behavioural analysis, constant reward for appropriate behaviour. And what we would hope over time is like with my son Asher, who became indistinguishable amongst his peers, that this hygiene behaviour becomes habitual without the need of the avatar or the rewards. The most exciting part aspect of the Grime Stoppers Club 
is that children from developed countries like Australia will reach out to their brothers and sisters from developing countries, having them drive the SOAP message back into their own homes. Grime Stoppers, driven by children commanded by the Intergalactic Health Council. Thank you very much. Now, I'm going to call on a Noongar elder, <coughs> Uncle Charlie Kickett, who will make an announcement. Thank you. And that announcement is that our Aboriginal children are going to take this Grime Stoppers to the world. Thank you. is that you, as young medical students, join us on this journey of changing the world through the simple use of soap and water and support our grime stoppers. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>